Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Mario & Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we started our grand adventure through time and space. Well, really just time, but whatever. We're going to say time and space because it sounds more epic. And we have invaders from space who are causing mischief, it seems. So I guess there is space involved in some capacity. In this episode, we are going to be exploring the Mushroom Kingdom of the past and try and find out where exactly we ended up. Though we could just check the save album to figure out where we ended up. Go ahead and use the save feature right here. And it gives you a little screenshot photos right here that act sort of like vacation photos photos and they give you little uh uh little stories of how mario and luigi are currently doing and stuff sometimes they're kind of funny but the photos are where the real charm is so i like seeing all the different photos and the game looks really funny and cool and stuff but now that's taken care of we are gonna get on with our adventure and of course like any good adventure or like any mario adventure it is filled with tutorials at the beginning or i guess just the rpg ones are if it's not inconvenient, I'd like to proceed with some basic constructionals. As you know, the primary action for mobile creatures is the jump, if you follow. If your timing is serviceable, the pair of you should be able to jump up th these ledges. First, Mario jumps with A. Then Luigi follows suit by pressing B. Rudimental! The key is using the D-pad to move and pressing A and B in that order. I suggest trying it. Thankfully, I'm playing this on the 3DS, so I can use the circle pad. Much more comfortable. Something about oh, old DS games is that there's nothing to currently concern over that. Okay, I know that would happen. Uh, something that I uh, kind of like about old DS games that were kind of not that fun to play, like Super Mario 64 DS. If you go back and play it on the 3DS, it's a lot more comfortable with the circle pad. So if you didn't really like that game all that much, then you can go ahead and try it again with the new uh, control style, which is kind of nice. Uh, this is just a regular coin block. Hit as quickly as possible to get as many coins as possible. One a mushroom revives you when you fall in. Uh, this right here is a uh, two mushrooms. That's another thing. You get multiple items in just one block. So the item blocks are very, very nice to you in the Mario and Luigi games, which I very much appreciate. So I'm just going to keep on going through here. All right, Luigi, do you see the gaps in your path? Yep, those are definitely gaps. Boop, boop, boop. Yes, I know how to look up. The screen isn't that big, Nintendo. You don't need to direct me every time. Oh, whatever. Gaps in the light can sometimes be cleared by moving them with the D-pad. Yes, you could build up speed and then leap as one by pressing AB at the same time. I suggest a trial attempt for this particular technique. Make, the, make with the jumping. Will do. Just jump at the same time and you should be good to go. And gee, I wonder what we're supposed to do with these. I have no idea. Ah, uh, this area is festooned with red and green blocks, according to my uh, data banks. Yes, red objects respond only when struck by Mario, and green ones are for Luigi. I never would have guessed. I promise the tutorials aren't this excessive throughout the entire game, but it's just sort of for the right at the beginning. Go ahead and hit that, hit that. Of course, we gotta get all the Mario ones first, and Luigi, Luigi, and a Luigi. All just coins, how lame. It appears a path allowing us to proceed has opened up. I suggest utilizing A and B to perform well-timed jumps and, and move forward. Uh, what does this sign say? Holly Jolly Village. Well, that's convenient, because we're heading up there. Uh, we don't have anything- Okay, of course, as soon as I'm like, Oh, this is all gonna be nice and peaceful, but it's all like, No! Death and destruction! Hey. Ouch. The village! Village, dank purple mushrooms. Let's go. Oh my God, see Luigi. At least he's funny to make fun of in this game. Oh no, Toads are being abducted. I can't really say that the Mario and Luigi games are known for having really dark stories, but I would say that Partners in Time probably has the darkest of the bunch. Uh, that might be up for the debate, but from what I'm trying to remember of them all, I definitely think it's one of, if not the darkest Mario RPGs there is. So maybe you'll enjoy it for that reason. It's a lot, has a lot of things in it that you might not expect to happen. 
I understand your urgency, but who knows the dangers ahead? It would be prudent to get you battle ready before moving on. Well, look at this, the perfect practice for you. Mario, jump on that bubble, that bulboid thing. Kind of funny if he said bulborb thing, but I don't know if Pikmin was invented yet. Go ahead and press A. And just like Paper Mario, you can get first strikes on enemies and do damage before the battle even begins, which is what he's basically about to tell us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip it because I don't need, have any need for these tutorials. Now, unfortunately, Mario and Luigi don't have their little dancing animations like they do in Superstar Saga. That is the one thing I will say that Superstar Saga has above all other Mario and Luigi games is when they're deciding for their attacks, Mario and Luigi do this awesome stinking dance where they're just like... It's amazing, but unfortunately it's not in this game. So Mario just flicks his nose and Luigi does this little crab dance thing. Uh, but yeah, we have access to our items now, so if you wanted to heal up for any reason, then uh, you can go ahead and do so. Oh, and I see I was trying to press B to cancel out of it, but no, you gotta press L to cancel because B controls Luigi. Press A on this shrewblet and just jump on it. Luigi! Yeah, he's gonna tell us that he jumps with A. Okay, we got that taken care of. And now Mario's got his uh, torpedo, not torpedo arms, helicopter hands instead when he's not being, not trying to decide on something. And Luigi is like, you put your left foot in, you put your left foot out, you put your left foot in, and you jump on someone's face. Analysis complete on the enemy's attacks. Shall I tell you the results? No. Alrighty then. I've got one more analysis I'd like to share with you. When avoiding enemies, the timing of Mario's and Luigi's jumps tends to be slightly differentiable. Pay close attention to the timing of the jumps. Back to adventure! Honestly, you could just jump with both bros at the same time if you want to. Uh, so there are some enemies that will actually punish if you have both bros jump at the same time, but 9 times out of 10 it's not a bad thing to do. But with the Shrewblet, uh, I'm actually going to uh, mess up on the timing just so we can show off uh, what he was trying to explain to us from before. Uh, you see his leg lifts up. If he has the right leg lift up, the one that's facing towards the camera, that means he's going to go for Luigi. But if he lifts up his right leg, the one that's in the background, that means he's headed for Mario. So every enemy has like a tell that shows you which bro they're going to be attacking. So you're going to want to look out for that and remember it. Like I said, the battles in this game are very complex in that regard. They have a lot of detail to them that uh, are a lot different from the Mario and Luigi game, or from the Paper Mario games. So it gives you a lot of extra challenge just to uh, notice the tell in all the enemies, try and figure out their weaknesses, try and get the combos and the, uh, timed attacks right, and also just sort of keeping up with it because the enemies get really stinging fast and come in big swarms in the future. So it can be really stinging difficult if you don't know what you're doing. So keep up the pace and hope for the best, I guess. Uh, Luigi got his first level up, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade HP, just like we do with Mario. And, of course, he just gets one, but whatever. I'm sure you could sort of, uh, I'm not going to be doing it, like, all in order like I did with the Paper Mario LP. I might be switching around to where I just try and focus on what I want each character to be like. With Mario, I kind of like making him super uh, offensive, and Luigi, uh, he favors defense over offense, so I might go and do it like that, but I don't know, maybe I could upgrade in a different sort of way, who knows. So yeah, these fights are very, very easy as you can plainly see, or they're easy starting off, but they'll change later on. As for whether or not I'll be showing every single fight, I will not be showing every single fight, but just like with any RPG, I recommend you fight every enemy along the way just because when you get to a boss fight, you're going to want that extra experience that you had the opportunity to get because it's going to make the battles a lot easier for you. I remember first time playing this, I just skipped basically every battle and I could not for the life of me get through the first boss. It was really seeming terrible. But with this game, I probably will be fighting every enemy along the way and if i'm like in the middle of talking about something then i'll continue to show the fight in the background but if it's a fight that we've already seen a million times i'll probably cut it out just for the sake of getting things done luigi, luigi! are you operational luigi do you need service it appears you've taken some damage what fortunate timing luigi is in pain allow me to explain how to use items i know how to use items i don't want to though because it wastes you know, them and all that I know you're groggy, but try to focus, Luigi. Please press start. What we have here is the ideal moment to discuss using items. Hmm, wait a moment. I just happen to have two mushrooms that the professor gave me. Let's use these in explanation. I guess in case you didn't pick up any along the way. Move the magnification dingus here and press A. Alright, some of his lingo is kind of funny. What you see here are the items currently in your possession, if you follow. What I need you to do is select the mushrooms and then press A. 
Yes, now you can use the D-pad to choose who gets the mushroom, and won't that be fun for all? Make sure you selected our friend Luigi there, and then press A. Why do we want to give it to Mario? No, not Mario, the other bro. Get the mushroom to Luigi, and press A. Why do I want to give it to Mario? Luigi doesn't deserve mushrooms. All right, fine. Yes, one differs. That should put a pepper on his pizza. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's return to the bottom screen. If it's not too much trouble, press B for me. Second verse, same verse as the first verse, by which I mean press B again. And here we are, back where we started, but smartified. We're ready to move on. Yes, it's easy to back out of my inner levels one step at a time and with the B button, but you could also press start to close me entirely at any time if you follow. Except for right now. Press the B button or start to close me. Back to adventure. Hmm. Luigi is determined. Okay, we're heading up here now. So, Mario got hit in the head with a toad that, like, fell presumably from all the way up at the top of the village. And he didn't take any damage, but somehow Luigi gets hit by this guy from probably just one mushroom ahead of us. And he ends up going down to 1 HP. Uh, just another example of how Luigi is lame. Ooh, a lucky attack. That's not lame, though. Lucky is sort of like a critical hit. It could just happen if you're lucky, and it does extra damage. There are some items and equips that make it so it could happen more in your favor, but we'll get into those later on. I keep on fighting all these guys. I'm pretty sure these enemies disappear after a period of time, so uh, it is in your best interest to just fight them now. Uh, okay, I was actually kind of worried that I wouldn't land that hit just right, but no, wor no need to worry. Uh, just have Luigi attack this one as well, and we're good. Getting a lot more powerful. The fights are getting quicker. So it's a good mixture of just having really unique and difficult uh, enemies to fight that give you a lot of challenge, but if you master it, then you get more and more powerful and they become easier and easier, you get rewarded for it. It's a perfect mix, like I don't really know what to say, Nintendo does a good job at making games, as if you really needed me to tell you that. Keep on getting that experience and them coinage. And Mario gets a level up, level 3. Get all that experience. As you can see, Stash never actually gets increased through level ups. You have to go out of your way to increase it on your own. The only thing that Stash does is that it will give you discounts at shops. Yeah, the better your mustache is, the easier life is for you because you get discounts at stores for it. So it's up to your own discretion if you want to use it. But uh, right now I'm going to go with attack. I can see a three on there. Yeah, I got the three. I was actually kind of worried that I would be regretting the decision, but no, we got the three. I also should probably point this out, it is very detrimental that you are smart with these level ups and stuff because it could make or break your, your experience in this game, uh, whether or not you're distributing levels properly. I can't really say, I just don't focus on just one stat, try and give uh, each character their own increases in every stat as you go along the game because it's very, very important that you don't just stick to the same thing. And 69 coins, hooray! It is nice that you get to sort of build your own characters and do whatever you want with them, but at the same time, uh, unless you're well prepared to deal with uh, having like a complete tank of a character, a complete strict wall or a uh, healer or something like that, you might be regretting it. So I just sort of prefer to distribute uh, all the different attacks evenly. Uh, gonna go with this, and of course you can double. Why do I feel like Luigi's just gonna get ones and ones throughout the entire LP just because he's Luigi? I mean, it's fitting and all, but I kind of don't want to have to deal with that, which is unfortunate. I don't know if there's actually any real trick to it, but I'm just going to keep on going with it. And hey, we made it to the top. And uh oh, Christmas is canceled. Oh, no. I always hated floors. Some serious stuff going on right off the bat, and we have really somber music. It's just always been an interesting song that stuck out to me because it's so stinking sad sounding, but not exactly uh, unfitting or anything like that. It is a very sad area, but it's all Christmassy and stuff. I don't know. And I guess it's very fitting to my Christmas right now. I'm recording this like a week before Christmas, and not gonna go into details, but life isn't super swell at the moment. So I was like trying to go into this. I was like, why can't I go in? I'm like, oh, it's destroyed. I could see that. Uh, okay, so we just go in here, but yeah, life isn't all that grand right now, and I'm kind of sad that, like, I don't know, I just always sort of wish that things end up being really good for Christmas, just want to be happy around this time, but 
I guess life doesn't always work out like that. Sometimes it'll just things won't magically be okay at this one time of the year. But sure, we should uh, did work out that way. Anyway, let's stop talking about that depressing stuff. Two episodes into this LP, I'm already getting on depressing topics. How wonderful! That's just what this song does to you. Just gets you in the mood. Uh, let's go over here. There's nothing in this area, so we're just gonna head northwards this time. And yeah, I completely disregard the fact that Luigi had a bunch of 20 coins in that uh, coin block. The blue ones are worth 20, and we got three of them, which is really nice. Uh, what's this? Holly Jolly Mayor's Home. I believe that's the point of progress, so we're going to avoid that for now. Head in here. There's a save album in case you want to save, but who would ever want to do that? I don't want to save. Going to head over here. Uh, we got another L block. It says 10 coins, which is nice. Over here, we have ourselves another branching path, which leads to nothing. How wonderful. So we could head on over to the mayor's house and hope for some sort of progress, because otherwise we are completely doomed, because there's literally nothing else for us to do. I wish the running speed was a little bit faster in this game, but oh well. Just head in here. Oof, oof. Big house you got here, buddy. Oh my god, Santa's here! He'll save the day! Is anybody there? Hello? What happened to those awful shroom things? Are they gone? Me? I'm the mayor of this village. Nice to not see you. I was trying to hide from those shroom things and got stuck. There must be a way out. That doesn't involve dieting, but... Uh, how about we just jump on up and get him out of there? You know, I thought I would grab his legs and pull him down, but no, we just... We pushed him all the way up the chimney and then popped him out. Oh-ho! Safe at last! Or not. HELP! This game is like, my god, like, it just does not stop with the bad things happening. I don't know, it's just like, it makes it seem incredibly hopeless of a situation. The troops seem to speak in a completely alien language, though they don't have complete alien technology as their thing was shaped like a DS. But uh, yeah, something I kind of don't like about the game is that the troops don't ever actually talk to you. It would be a good opportunity for like some funny villains or uh, side characters or something like that, but they're not all that funny. They're strictly business, which I guess is also kind of fine because I, I do like uh, dark and serious stories as well, especially in like a setting that doesn't really seem to fit it all that well, like a Mario game where it's just like incredibly unsettling. And don't get me wrong, all this great stuff that's been happening so far of just like this Christmas village being destroyed and everyone being abducted and all that stuff. It's all really dark and I love that stuff, but I kind of wish we had dramatic and dark storytelling to go along with it, but the villains don't really seem to have that. Though, they're gonna have their actions speak a lot louder with words because as soon as that three reaches zero, we are dead. So let's go ahead and try and finish up this fight ASAP. Uh, the, by the sound of their blasters, you can tell which one they're going to hit. If they go the boop, that means Luigi, but if they go the beep, then that goes for Mario. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully. I'm uh, going to keep on doing damage, but okay, we got rid of one of them, thankfully. Uh, don't know if we'll have enough time to stop them, however. Just jump on this dude. Maybe they'll have less HP this time around. Doesn't look like it. Well, that's unfortunate. And even though I destroyed one of them, he magically comes back and just laughs at our dead corpses. As opposed to undead corpses. I guess that's what Brooke is. Yo ho 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 ho! Meanwhile, high above Holly Jolly Village, the Koopa Cruiser cruises. Emergency, emergency. Baby Toes went to the rescue. Princess! Oh, Princess, never fear, my dear. Toesworth is here. Come, let's get you to safety. 
Jeez, completely brush aside your singing saviors. This is the great Prince Bowser. Kneel, minions. Okay, now get up. All personnel to the bridge. He just pushes him out. And he's fine now. Okay, we are back to controlling the babies. And thankfully, this is the time. So I can just go ahead and derp around as much as I want. Uh, Baby Luigi is controlled with the Y button, as you would expect. And now that he's in our capacity, we could go... Oh, you're going to explain it to me, aren't you? Oh, boy. His grouchiness awaits you. Get your tails to the bridge. I wonder if you little spuds can make it on your own. Show me a practice jump, okay, little red tot? Yep, that'll work. How about you, little green tater? Nice. You're good to go. You can perform all of your actions with X and Y. Got it? Clear the staggered levels. You two are going to have to work on your jumping. Use d to move, press X and Y. Yeah, yeah, we get it, we get it, we get it. Okay, thankfully, that is not a thing throughout the entire game. I promise you they're not going to keep on giving you the same tutorials over and over and over again. Just with the different characters. Like, oh, this character hasn't experienced this tutorial, so we got to give it to them again. It's going to be stopping soon. I kind of want to... That's why I kind of like making the first episodes of LPs kind of long, because I want to get the tutorial stuff out of the way. So hopefully after this we'll be good to go. Get all this stuff. Get a lot of ammunition, so I appreciate that at least. And something else I kind of like is that uh, since you're used to sort of pressing the... Uh, I don't even know what he said, but whatever. Um, since you're used to pressing the X button when you're controlling the babies, you could press the X button to talk to them. You can also... Oh, you can't press the A button at all, so okay. It just sort of forces you into that, but I like that they switch it around. It's not like, oh, you have to press A to talk to people. No, they switch it around for you, so you can just focus on one button. Uh, go over here, get this item, which is just a coin. Hooray. I like how I acknowledge the coin ball. Those other great items that we got back there, I didn't even acknowledge what they all were. But you saw what they were. You don't need my explanation. I'm going to hit the save album just so we can see the new picture. Because we got to see all the pictures in the game. Hooray. Are the real stars of the show, baby Mario and baby Luigi? I'm not going to read all of them. Some of them are kind of funny, but I don't have the patience to read them all. Who knows what's going to happen from here on in. And I mean, your babies. You better save your progress whenever you see a save album. Head on up here. And we made it to the front. Time to show these alien jerks what the Koopa Cruiser could do. Fire the Koopa Cannon! Fire! Fire! K -k -k combo Breaker! I'm just so darn evil. So evil that I said a dirty wordy when I was a baby in an E-rated video game. I hope they felt honored to be shot down by me. You're the best, Prince Bowser. You're a Koopa's Koopa. I like his worried face. It's like, hoo, 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 hoo. Hey, you call that piloting? Pay attention, Sky Nerd. Sky Nerd. Prince Bowser, there, four o'clock. Those villagers are under shroom attack. Oh no, my favorite Smash Bros. character besides Ness. Your, your orders? Should we help them? Oh man, it's half past snack time already. We, we saw nothing. Everybody clear on that? Great hoogly boogly! The princess does not approve of this! Your master Bowser, abandoning those folk is reprehensible! Holy stinking Jesus! My ears! She'll ruin us all! Fine, I'll help them if they'll just shut her up! Koopa Cannon, fire! Fire! Well, I guess we know how Peach can save herself in the future. All she has to do is to scream for five hours, and then Bowser will get sick of her. That was like one of my favorite moments in SpongeBob where the flying Dutchman like kidnaps SpongeBob. He's like, here, take him back. I couldn't hear myself think with him around. They are happy. You two take care of things from here. Go get him, Red. You two greeny. Young masters, if you would, please go check on those unfortunate villagers. That, I believe, will make the princess most pleased and perhaps avoid future tantrums. I shall wait right here for your no-doubt triumphal return. Tally ho and all that. Guess we're heading on over to meet with our future selves. If we just walk over here. Unfortunately, we got the same walking speed. If anything, it would be less, it would be slower walking speed because we're all tiny and stuff. But I guess I could appreciate the the minor things in life that it still goes at the same pace. Go, go, 
And uh oh, this is kind of Akko Taco. We gotta finish them off. If the bros, if the big bros had such a hard time finishing them off, how are we ever gonna finish them off? How many times am I gonna say finish them off? Yeah, Master Luigi, you press the Y button to attack and stuff. Okay, thanks. Go and do that. Uh, you're gonna hit Mario again. You could just uh, press both buttons at the same time and it protects you no matter what. So, oh, he's gonna give us some bros items. That'll make this fight a bit quicker. Bros items are your special attacks of sorts. So, you don't have any sort of FP in this game, but instead, uh, in Martin Luigi Superstar Saga, they were called bro points and you had bro attacks that you could use in battle. But in this game, they're in uh, the form of items and you could uh, increase or decrease the amount of times you could use them by buying more items or finding more items. So it's going to go and use a green shell, and all you got to do is just press the X button to kick it to the enemy, and when it goes over to Baby Luigi, press the Y button, just keep on doing that over and over for as long as you can. Okay, there you go. So my main concern with this Let's Play is that I'm kind of worried about using bros attacks because a lot of them uh, require a lot of concentration and I'm really worried that the commentary is just going to go down the drain as soon as I ever use these things so that's sort of my re main reason why I want to cut out battles in the future because either that or just not use bro items because when I use green shells I just go completely silent or just go burp burp herp and derp and stuff and it's not really entertaining so I'll try and see let's try right now see if I can just do free range commentary and attack an enemy at the same time hey look I'm doing it I'm really doing it yeah yeah and some of these and some of these almost there and I failed okay just jump I have quite a few so use all that you wish I guess that might have been like a tactic to get more uh, shells from him uh, I'm just gonna try and finish him off with jumps though there you go Get the experience, get the coins, and get ourselves our victory. That was rather close, eh? Now he's Canadian. Now that I see these villagers close up, they bear a striking resemblance to the two of you. I go, baby Luigi looks at his butt. But who knows when more of those awful aliens will return? I believe it is best to take these two to Master Bowser's ship. I thought it's Master Belt for a second. I was like, what? Those monsters. Their arrival seems like a horrifying dream. It was all so sudden. Foul parasites from the shrew planet. Land of utter creepiness. Their purpose is oh so clear. They wish to take all we hold dear in the Mushroom Kingdom. Our land. Our very lives. Oh, the village is in ruins, and our beloved castle as well. But flee, flee, we must escape! The castle is lost! Prince Bowser here, come in, Kamek! Get the Koopa Cruiser here on the double! My Prince! Prince Bowser, let's hightail it out of here! And that is how the princesses and I were rescued by Master Bowser. Odd as that sounds. And now, almost all of the Mushroom Kingdom has fallen under Stroob control. Says report your badness. We are currently on approach to Peach's castle. Our once beautiful castle. No, look at it now. No doubt, those fiends call it Shroob Castle. I'm just assuming because I can't actually understand what they're saying and I'm just going to name it myself because what else would you call it? Rumor has it that their leader is there, Princess Shroob. Eh? 
What's that you say? Princess Peach is being held prisoner in the castle. Oh, surely you jest. The princess is quite safe and sound right here with me. Hmm? I beg your pardon? The future Princess Peach? The future Astros Mario and Luigi? Oh, you poor fellows. You've gotten a bit daffy, eh? Your noggins must have gotten bonked. Perhaps a nap? Status report, now! Your foulness, We've re we're receiving some sort of transmission from Peach's, I mean, Shroob Castle. A transmission? Put it on the monitor, let's see what's up. Who's this hag? Th that must be Princess Shroob, undoubtedly! Man, does anyone have any idea what she's blabbing about? Ag for Prince Bowser! From Shroop Castle! It's a Shroop missile, and it's headed straight for us! Oh, no. Whoa! Evasive action! Koopa cannon! Fire! No! No ammo! What? You're fired! Direct hit! Those alien dirtbags! We gotta hold it together until we get back home! 